Hello everyone and welcome to today's Cats Protection Moggy Module videos. My name is Kelly and I work for the charity Cats Protection. If you haven't heard of Cats Protection before, we take in lots of cats and kittens that don't have a home of their own or maybe their owner can't look after them anymore. So we take them in and we find them a new home. So today's video is the first of five that we will be playing over the summer holidays and each week we will be posting a new Moggy module video which will be all about the five welfare needs. So if you join in with any of our activities then please do post on our Twitter, Instagram or Facebook pages using hashtag the Moggy modules and show us what you've been up to and if you're watching this on YouTube then leave us a comment. And also, if you want to download our free Moggy module packs, then visit our education page on the Cats Protection website. So today's video is all about the first welfare need, which is a place to live. And we are going to have some fun things to do today, like a scavenger hunt. Also, we're going to look at a mini documentary and we're also going to learn how to build a cat castle. So it sounds like so much fun. So if you're ready, let's begin. So cats need a suitable place to live that is safe and warm and dry, and they need all the right things to keep them happy. So for your first task, are you ready? I would like you to be catnap detectives and go hunting around the house for sleeping places that cats might use. So you can time yourself on how long it takes you to find all the things on the checklist that are lovely and safe and warm places for cats to sleep. So there's a box, a cushion, places up high, there might be blankets, and there might be places that are warm and cozy that you might find around the house. So don't forget to pause the video during your scavenger hunt and once you've found everything on the checklist, then come back and start the video and we can take a look at all the places that cats like to sleep. Ready? Go! How did you get on with your scavenger hunt? Did you find all the things on the checklist? Fantastic guys, well done. Cats sleep twice as long as we do, an average of 16 hours through the day and through the night. Now remember never to wake up a sleeping cat or a cat that is hiding because you might scare them and they might scratch you. So I have got some things here to show you and they are some of the perfect sleeping places for cats. Now you might have actually found some of these in your home on your scavenger hunt. So cats like to sleep in lots of different places around the house. You might have thought of your sofa, or maybe you might have thought of a cushion, or maybe on top of your bed. They like blankets, so you might have found some blankets as well. So they like soft blankets. They also like lots of cat beds as well. So this one here is a round cat bed, and you can see it's quite cozy and soft. So lots of beds placed around the house so that they can choose which one to use. They also like to be warm, so you might have thought of a bed next to the radiator, which cats do like. Now this cat here is sleeping on a radiator bed and it hangs off the radiator and the cat keeps warm and also it's up high so the cat feels safe as well. So it's really important for us to um, place some hiding places around the home for our cats because they do like to hide. And you might have thought of maybe under the bed or maybe in your wardrobe, but the best thing that cats like is a cardboard box. And they love these because they can hide in them and it makes them feel safe because they can avoid things that might be too stressful for them or they can avoid anything that's a bit too scary for them. So giving them places to hide keeps them happy. High places are ideal for cats as well. They like beds maybe on top of wardrobes or they like to sit on the windowsill or maybe they like to use your shelves. Um, so this cat here you can see is on a shelf right by the window and these places help cats to avoid anything scary and it also helps them to see what is around them and if there are any dangers coming towards them. 
So there we are, some of the perfect sleeping places for cats. Now don't forget, if you would like to learn more about this week's welfare need, a place to live, you can download the Moggy modules from the Cats Protection website for lots more activities. So take a look at the next part of our video. It's a mini documentary all about cat sleeping behavior. And once you've watched the video, then we're going to learn how to build a cat castle. In the natural habitat of a comfortable and safe home, domestic cats are professional sleepers. With the latest in camera trap technology, we're able to witness their sleeping pattern as they migrate from one room to the next, seeking suitable and remote sites for more nap time. Late in the afternoon, this cat spots an ideal scenario. Positioning itself carefully on the lap of the human, it has assured a prolonged period of warmth. However, eventually the human begins to fidget as the urge to use the toilet consumes them. Finally, the discomfort becomes too much and the cat must vacate their warm location until the next time. That was a great mini documentary, so now let's move on to making our cat castle. So, some of the things that you're going to need to make your cat castle is you're going to need um, a couple of boxes. They can be big or small, um, as long as your cats can fit in. And you are going to need um, some toilet, cardboard toilet rolls. So I've got two, but you can have more than two. You can have a few more, as many as you like. It's up to you. Uh, you're going to need um, some spare cardboard as well, or um, some white card. Some good, a good pair of scissors to cut through cardboard, your sellotape, your felt pen and a ruler. Okay, so let's move all this to one side. So first of all, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make sure that your box is nice and secure. So I've put some sellotape on the front there to make sure that my box is closed. And we're going to make some holes. So cats usually like to go in through one hole and then come out through the other. So um, I've made a hole on this side already. So we're going to make a hole on this side now. So with your felt pen, you can um, draw yourself a hole, okay? Just like this, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm lucky I've got an opening here so I'll be able to cut through um, my cardboard a bit easier. But um, what I would suggest is use the tip of your scissors and dig in first around the line, follow the line, okay? To make the circle. Now, if you need help with this, you can ask an adult to help you out if you need somebody to cut this part out for you, okay? So, around you go, like this, and then hopefully, that should help you um, be able to, that should help you cut the cardboard. Okay, so I'm gonna, going to go through my cardboard with my scissors and make a nice big hole. Okay, and that gives us a second hole in our cardboard for our cat. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so we'll put that to one side. Now, we're going to make some battlements. So they are the squared pieces on the top of our castle. Now, you can make these two ways. I've got some scrap cardboard here. And with my scissors, I am going to make my battlements. Now, they're really easy. Um, you don't have to be perfect at this because what we're going to do is we're going to stick them together in the end. So, what I would do with your card, that can be as long as you want, it can be as small as you want. Now, I'm going to do this small piece because it's going to be the side, one of the sides of my walls. So, I am just cutting a little slot 
into the top part. Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you can fold them in just like so, okay? So you can see I'm folding them in just like so. And then I'm going to cut these bits off, okay? There we go. All right, so pop that over to one side. So there we are. So that is part of my battlement, okay? So I can show you what I have made here. I have started sticking my walls together, okay? So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you've got plenty of sellotape at the corners so that your walls all stay together okay so as you can see i've drawn on my um walls and i've done some little stones as well which i think look pretty cool and you can decorate um your battlements as much as you like you can use some felt pens you can use some crayons whatever you like now if you don't want to use um hard card like i have used you can also use soft card now with your ruler you just need to draw some lines across your soft card and then some little boxes that you can cut out which will give you your battlements then and then you can stick those onto your um, box so what we're going to do as well is we're going to use our cardboard toilet rolls okay so this is really easy all you do is you snip snip on the ends okay little snips and all the same length and then you fold them in so fold every other flap in okay and it gives you a little tower okay so i'll do it on this one because i've already done this one so you fold them in okay fold them in and then there we are okay so i'm going to stick these in the corner of my walls as you can see here I've got one in this corner and then we're going to put one in that corner there okay so hopefully they should stick nice in there now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to build it all up build our castle up so we're going to use the bottom part that we made the two holes in so the cats can come in and out the back and for my top part i've actually decorated my box because i thought it would look cool with lots of um paper on it and the paper is from a cat magazine from our cat magazine actually so i've decorated uh, my box with lots of um, pages from the cat magazine and then what we're going to do then is we're going to pop our wall on the top just like this and again with sellotape you are going to stick this down on the top of your box and hopefully this is going to make your cats want to come and sit on the top balcony of your castle and so as you can see this is our cat castle so there we are hope you had fun making it and don't forget to send in your pictures and post them on our facebook twitter or instagram using hashtag the moggy modules we can't wait to see your creations it's great fun for us to make things for our cats and kittens to hide climb and play during lockdown, some of our cat care assistants from St. Helen's Adoption Centre created a huge cat castle, way better than mine, to keep the cats and kittens entertained. Check out this next video and see how much fun they're having.
Thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope you have had fun and enjoyed learning all about a cat's need for a suitable place to live. Make sure you tune in next week to watch our next video all about a cat's need understanding their behaviour. Don't forget to download our free home education packs, the Moggy modules, for more games, quizzes and lots of fun. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, then please do tell us what you thought of our video in the comments. And if you have made anything this week, then show us your lovely creations on our social media pages. Thank you so much and we will see you soon.